EcoBoost engine 448AA. 150,000 miles of dyno stress. Then driven 1,900 miles to haul 55 tons of timber. Now it's traveled another 3,300 miles for this. Homestead Miami Speedway, the next dish of agony for our F-150 EcoBoost engine. The plan here today is to be able to show and demonstrate durability and the longevity of uh, this engine. We're hitching up its maximum load, 11,300 pounds. Then we'll tow it at full throttle for 24 hours straight, only stopping for fuel and tire changes. The F-150 reaches speeds approaching 100 miles an hour, revving up to the red line, hours on end, cranking up oil and coolant temperatures beyond what you'd normally get in the real world. At least, not without a Florida State Trooper on your tail. Truck's still running good, all your temperatures look great. He'd come out of the straightaway and roll into that throttle. We'd get a downshift. The engine RPM would jump up 5,000. We'd run 5 to 5,700 RPM full load, just like our durability test. Yeah, full boost. Full boost. The turbos glow cherry red exceeding 200,000 RPM for hours at a time without a break. It's like running a 100-yard dash for an entire marathon. When you come in, we'll get a tire check and check the wear. All right, driver, why don't you come on in the pit next? The engine has averaged over 80 miles an hour pulling its max trailer load of 11,300 pounds for 1,600 miles. That's a distance equal to nearly the entire eastern seaboard. This 24-hour endurance test shows that uh, EcoBoost is really the uh, future. Now, it'll drive another 2,500 miles to the Arizona desert for a grueling uphill race against Ram and Silverado V8s. 